Richard here in Delhi, and I'm uh, joined. Are you a super host? I am a super a host. Super host. Yes. super host to super host. I'm nice Richard. To nice you. to see nice. you. This is just really encouraging. You know, here, never met this individual, flew halfway around the world, and he's on his second Airbnb. That's his plan, and he'd like to keep doing it. And he, he's actually doing an internship, if you think of it that way. His real time job, his full time job, um, is at a hostel with 80 beds, and his goal is to get to that. And right now, you're at how many here? 10? Uh, yeah, 10 people. 10. Yes, yeah. The second place is going to take him up to 25 or so. Yes, yes. And his goal is to go to 80. And in order to learn how to do that, um, he's working at some other hostel with somebody else's money and somebody else's reputation. And he's improving yeah, yeah. the reputation. He's learning what activities work. He's putting in all the time and energy um, so that when he actually does this himself, he's good to go. Tell, tell the audience a little bit about uh, you as an Airbnb host and a uh -huh. super host, how long you've been doing it, why you do it. Um, Anything else that we want to know? Yeah, so I, I started with couch surfing actually okay. uh, three and a half years ago. But I was living with my family, so there was no option of uh, hosting people. So I was just meeting people, people who were coming to the city, you know. They write, hey, anyone up for a coffee? And then I had some time after my work, so I was showing them around. And then I was doing it for one and a half years. So, so uh, yeah, so I moved out of my family house uh, with a friend in a very small apartment, and then I started hosting people. So for one and a half years, I hosted every single day from Couchsurfing. Wow. So I hosted more than 200 people from Couchsurfing. And then uh, some good friends like who would always see me. So one guy knew about Airbnb, so he told me like, dude, you've been doing Couchsurfing, why don't you try Airbnb? I was like, mm, yeah, let's give it a shot. So I started working well, and then, and that's when I started that, you know, I can take it as my, let's, let's, let's try to do an experiment. So I, I thought of having a bigger house, so I moved here. So, so when I joined at, from this small house two, two, one, two years ago, so the first quarter I was super host and then since then I've never lost this title of super host. So it's been two years, continuous. And um, for that I've also, so right now as I told you before that I know all the Airbnb team so they invite me a lot of times when there's new host introduction and, uh, and then uh, I've been approached by them twice to work for them uh, on, a, on a very big level, second time actually but again uh, I had my own plans in my mind, so the plan was not to work for someone. See, and, that's uh, key. That's one of the things that we talk about on this channel is about being self-reliant and self-employed. And, and, you know, while jobs are great and I encourage people to have jobs and save yeah, for yeah. retirement, I also right. encourage people to take matters into their own hands and control their right. destiny, right? Because right. you can get another place, you can get a smaller place, you can fix this place up, you can charge more, you can charge less, but you can do whatever it is exactly. to make it work where you know, I had a very big job up until 2009. Yeah. I worked at a hedge fund and um, one day I just got tapped on the shoulder and I was fired and then I had mm. zero, right? Yeah. So yeah. Um, that was a lesson. But so I applaud you. Airbnb is a great company, probably a very nice job offer, but you yeah. stayed true to your dream, which was to do something for yourself. Yes, and that's when, so I already had a full-time job, which was, a, which was actually a very well-paid job, uh, working for a big, good, big British company as an as assistant manager marketing. But uh, somewhere at the end, this was not giving me happiness and then hosting and meeting people was just lovely, was just amazing. And then no bad experiences, never, except for some small little glitches which happens all the time or, you know, sometimes. And um, so I decided to give it a shot. So I just quit my job and started traveling in India. I met some people who motivated me more, you know, dude, you're doing good. I, I, was, I was still confused whether to look for a new job or just take this time off and then think. And I was just went to mountains and was just relaxing, that sounds you know, great. thinking and then I and I just decided to one day write an email to all the <coughs> hostels in Delhi. So I sent an email to, to seven, eight hostels, backpacking hostels. I thought why not to gain an experience on a bigger level. Because at my home right now I can host maximum of seven, eight, ten people. Whereas I my plan is to host like twenty twenty five as of now. You right. know, like I, I don't want to go in big debt, I don't want to borrow money from someone, I just want to be self you know, save money, you know, invest my own money into my own you know, I don't want, as of now, I don't want any partners. A lot of I'm, I'm the same way, by the way. So yeah. I started with one Airbnb. Now I have a total of six different properties. I have. Um, and I just do it slowly and incrementally and whatever pace that is. I don't rush it. I don't right, force right. it. Um, but I stay true to the plan. It sounds like you've got a very similar plan. Yeah, that's probably most similar. <laughs> so yeah, I hope a few years down the line I can say the same. I've got but, six properties. <laughs> but what you were starting to say, um, I think was really interesting to the audience, which is what your job is uh -huh. um, at the hostel and what you're learning there and how yeah. many people you're sleeping and tell us about that. Yeah, so this hostel is a, it's a 
good enough decent hostel we we are a 80 80 bedroom hostel okay. and then on an average even in a low season we are 60 and uh, one point i would like to mention here which i really feel proud of is that so the reason this guy hired me is that one he knew me from airbnb meetings already he has put his hostel on airbnb as well so he we have met at some meetings so we just had a little interaction so we knew each other so the reason he hired me is that he said dude you have to take our ratings up so when i joined them on 2nd of april we were eight which point, is like 60 days ago yeah yeah right, yeah okay. more than 60 days ago like two and a half months Three months actually, April, May, and June. Okay. So three months, three months, 90 days ago. So we were on we were on 8.5 on Hostel World because as a hostel, Hostel World website matters the most for you. And uh, so my job was just to take the ratings up, and then uh, today we are 9.4. Wow! As number one hostel in Delhi. That's amazing. And uh, all because of we do free tours every day. Every hostel in Delhi is charging. We do free tours. they don't we do night activities every day we we bind people we we keep them with us you know we don't we try not to let them go out you know and then but we 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 stick with them and then we make sure that they stick to us and just and, as uh, an example of that um tonight you're doing a 9 o'clock street food uh, tour yeah a night street food tour which is actually the first tour we're doing this way otherwise we never had a night street food tour we had day street food tours but now we want to go to the alleys of delhi and the best of the places Uh, which is not fancy but you know local street food and guess then. which guys joining that this yeah. guy <laughs> so yeah and then after that we are taking them out for drinks and then tomorrow is saturday i hope he's not staying tomorrow but if you had you would see how delhi party oh i can imagine yeah. so yeah, we do crazy parties as well last night was beer pong on our rooftop and then one night is a movie night so yeah we try to do different things every day uh, just to make it more interesting for people cool and uh, make sure that then they don't leave our hostel <laughs> and so um you were sharing with me before we started filming that you're in the process now of getting a second how big is the second apartment um, same uh, the plan is to have three more rooms okay. and in the similar neighborhood though i've already seen one flat uh, but i'm not sure because i need it in september and the guys in hurry so but the plan is to have three more rooms and then uh, offer two rooms as private and make one room as a big dorm uh, where i can probably six or eight put three bunk beds or four bunk beds according to the space and then offered shared room uh, to six or eight people that's great very so cool so it's a total of 25 uh, including both the houses that's so awesome yeah. and then your current occupancy rate you were telling me is currently yeah in off season is 75 to 80% okay and uh, but in 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 season which starts actually from september onwards till march when it's not very hot the weather is good and then i'm i'm i have to say no to people right yeah and then sometimes people stay with me in the beginning and they start their tour and then when they coming back they they don't book me because they they just you know they just land up here just write me a day before do them coming so they have no space so i have to offer them space in living room so we just put mattresses here what about um most of i think the audience that we've spoken to historically in a lot of the videos that we've done either tend to be uh private rooms mm -hmm. or um whole apartments or whole homes So this is a really nice um introduction to this. Has there ever been any issues with like theft either of your stuff or or like in his shared room with four people, a French person, a Mexican person? Mm -hmm. Anybody ever lose jewelry or a passport or anything like that or never or do you find that the community never ever really, you know, like believes yeah, in what yeah. it is that we're doing? Exactly. Never ever no theft ever and uh, we have a open door policy normally. Uh, our like you know, we don't we have It's not even we don't have CCTV cameras, nothing. So we just believe in people, and then you know you get a vibe from people, and then you trust people. And then, uh, as of now, in three years, no one broke that trust. And uh, yeah, people stick together. And plus, I I make my job of keeping people together. You know, in the evening I come back from work. That's where we hang out. We take them out, and then sometimes I, if they are traveling single, I join. I ask them to join at the hostel. For example, Joseph last night. What is the hostel? He was he was playing beer pong with us oh, and cool. all the guests on the rooftop. Cool. So then we came back home together, drunk. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> and now, in this sort of, let's just call this a, a upscale hostel on mm -hmm. Airbnb, your private one. What is the average? demographic profile male female age range so ratio i would say now is um, i can say 65 uh, guys percent okay. and then uh, uh, 35 uh, females 35% girls and then if you talk about the age ratio i uh, most of them are between the age of 21 to i would say 32 35 maximum so this guy's old <laughs> So yeah, uh, not really old because uh, it, it all matters. Yeah. Uh -huh, right. But yes, so that's But our. But this guy's young. Yeah, very young. <laughs> so that's what uh, my age uh, ratio is at this home. 
And uh, how long do they stay? Uh, on, on, on average, three days. Three days. Average three days, but at the same time, uh, I do. We get extensions. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, all the time. Uh, I, I manage to get them extend till the time someone doesn't have a very fixed plan or a flight to take. We always extend it. Like, let's suppose, you know, if you had no plan, so guys. So now he, this guy was supposed to go to Agra tomorrow. So now he's not going to Agra tomorrow. He already has a place booked, so he will either cancel or he will just do it. And then he's going on Sunday because tomorrow night we're taking him out to uh, a nice party. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so, and then do people tend to travel alone or groups of two or just what does it look uh, like? I get a lot of single solo travelers as uh, even females and uh, guys both and uh, groups are not so much mostly solo or just in two mm. but yeah solo mostly yeah, that's it. Yeah. cool great is there anything else that I didn't ask that you think is important to share anything that that drives you that motivates you or anything that any story that you want to share my motivation comes from meeting people because I've, I've I would say that I've just realized where my strength and passion lies after 27 years of my life and uh, but I, I love doing it and that's the, the reason I'm getting more into it. And uh, on the other hand, India being a very difficult destination for a first time traveler, especially for a single girl traveling alone, you know, uh, we try our best to make them feel comfortable. When, when they book my house, I give them my inputs. I give them my number if you have any questions. Most of them have some questions, help them in booking trains and a lot of things. So the purpose is to get mm -hmm. friends with them at the first go. And then the purpose is you go to a new country, which is a difficult destination for you, and you have a friend there. Right, and he's obviously extremely friendly and extremely considerate. We don't know the first thing about Delhi or what to do, <laughs> and the very first thing he did was pen an itinerary for us based on a, a mix of New Delhi and Old Delhi, where we should eat lunch, yeah. invite us to the street food festival tonight or whatever, the party yeah. tonight at 9 o'clock. And so, you know, we have our day cut out for us, and it's like a built-in travel agent, friend, host, <laughs> and you yeah. know, companion. So I can see the, the reason, and it's obvious that you take real pride in what it is that you're doing, and your reviews show it. And Thank you, so you know, much. I really appreciate you having us in your home, one, and two, taking time out of your day to like, you know, record this. And Thank you. I, yeah, I wish you the best with your this. second place, and then your third, and so on. <laughs> Thank you so much, I appreciate it. Cool, my man. Thank, Thank you. you.